Guys, I get why this video is requested. Confidence is key to success. Your state of mind, your mentality, all those things are keys to your success on the field and off the field. If you lack confidence, you're probably playing scared, you're afraid to express yourself, maybe afraid of getting made fun of, ridiculed, all that stuff, and that sucks because what you really want is freedom. You're seeking freedom, the freedom to express yourself on the field, do the things that you know you're capable of doing deep down inside. And it's a weird thing with confidence because you look at the high achievers and you think, how the hell did they get there? You know, it's like they have no doubts, they're fearless, they're straight up superhero shit. At the end of the day, none of that matters because you don't have their life experiences, you don't have their current circumstances, you don't know what's going on. What you have are your dreams, your desires, your goals, all the things that you can pull on from your life lessons in order to get you where you want to go. The reason the video is starting like this is because if you don't understand or realize the immense power that you have to increase and improve your confidence, then the game is lost from the beginning. There ain't nothing nobody can do in order to give you confidence. You cannot buy it in a store. On my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. Yeah, it would be so much easier if you could do that though, right? To be honest, though, I don't know if you would want that because once you realize that confidence is about the long game, the long journey, learning about the life lessons and things that you've gone through in order to get where you want to go, then you know that all the power rests with you, and that is key. And as you can see, this applies directly to football, and I can tell you how. It's right, so a quick little story about how improving confidence is a journey and how sometimes you can just get shocked into knowing that it's you that's keeping yourself down. So I'm about 17 years old, I'm training at my hometown club, which at the time was called Kansas City Wizards and they are now sporting Kansas City in the MLS. I went on to play there for a couple of years as a fire jersey. I played in the MLS for three years or so before heading off to Europe. And at the time I hadn't really been in the professional setting, so understandably I was a little nervous at least to go in there and just start training with all these guys that are pros and have been pros for a long time. So my first few trains, Everything was pretty much fine. I could handle the level. Guys were obviously way, way bigger than me, but I just lean on my technical ability to get me through it. I was playing like a 5v5 to goal game, something like this, and on my team is a guy named Preki. If you don't know Preki, easily one of the greatest players that have ever played in the MLS, definitely one of the most exciting, and he's on my team, right? And so, I, and we play like a series, like best out of three, something like this. And I think overall we lost, right? And every time I had to go up against another defender, I would almost always be up against a guy that looked easily as big as the Hulk. Hulk. I mean, no different to me. At least at that time, he seemed like he was no different. He's huge, right? So every time I would basically need to take him on and then have a shot, I was kind of like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. He's huge. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so we finish, right? And I think we're still gonna train some more, but we go off to go get some water. And there I go with my little 17 frame, like this big, you know? And then all of a sudden, like I feel this on the back of my neck, right? And it's Preki, cause he's grabbed me by the neck. Just by, and like for him, it probably wasn't even that bad, but like for me, that's what it felt like. He's bringing me off to the side and he's just going, you never play scared. You don't ever, ever, ever play scared. Never. Two seconds afterwards, I realized a couple of things. It immediately occurred to me that every time that I was playing in that game, in that specific game at least, my thoughts had nothing to do with soccer. I wasn't thinking about going to goal. I wasn't thinking about how I need to score. My only concern was don't mess up. Try not to get hit. Don't get tackled too hard by this guy. Don't take him on. Just do the simple, most easy, easy thing. That's all I was trying to do. I was just trying to survive, basically. Yeah, which is completely opposite from everything that I would normally do. You wanna say that the environment was a difference, but the real difference was, was just me. In that second, I realized that, yeah, I'm, I'm outwardly focused. If you're a little nervous before games or during games or, or at training and all that stuff, you need to figure out what it is that's causing that nervousness. Are you too outwardly focused on what's going on outside, what the other people are gonna think. Because if you are, you need to stop and refocus on the only thing that matters, which is your mission, your aim. If you're a striker, you need to focus on scoring goals. If you're a defender, you need to worry about blocking shots, playing tough, all that stuff. That's all that matters. Your confidence will come in knowing exactly what you wanna do and focusing on only that. The crowd will cheer, defenders will try and get in your head, your coach is gonna to talk to you, your teammates are gonna want something from you. The only thing that matters is if you stay on task because that's where confidence comes. You can't control their thoughts, what they say, what they 
do any of that, but you can control the one thing that you're going after and you can control where your focus is. Because if you're nervous, you gotta figure out first where that anxiety is coming from to try and sweep it out, and try and move on and get over that obstacle to keep going. And if you've got a decent level of confidence and you need to start taking more risk and being more bold at the right time, then you can do that by getting out of your comfort zone. And guys, if you wanna push a little faster and further than this, you don't have to restrict this to the field. You could do this outside of the field. This is the type of stuff that's gonna benefit all parts of your life. If you can carry this sort of mentality and push and push and push, Push, find out what it is exactly that you want and you stick to just that. Break it down if you have to. If it's just gonna be in training, you just focus on the next five passes. Focus on the next drill. Focus on today. Focus on whatever it is that you can, that you can hold your focus on and worry about just that because that is where you're gonna to start to get confidence because that's gonna build. You need to build it. Don't look always for the switch. Don't wait till a Serbian man grabs you by the neck and tells you to play harder and better. You've gotta do it yourself and it's gonna come and it's gonna come with patience. So we're gonna maybe dig into this a little bit more, just another couple short videos and then we'll get back out on the field all right peace too many thoughts on my mind i can't sleep at night so i just keep writing i don't need no help i don't need opinions so don't waste my time then i just been living online my city don't show me no love and that's fine subscribe